Hello, and welcome to the COVID Information Commons. The COVID Information Commons is an open website to facilitate knowledge sharing and collaboration across various COVID research efforts, especially focusing on NSF-funded COVID Rapid Response Research or RAPID projects, as well as other NSF-funded COVID or coronavirus-related awards, including SBIR, Small Business Innovation Research, and STTR, Small Business Technology Transfer. The COVID Information Commons serves as a resource for researchers, students, and decision makers from academia, government, not-for-profits, and industry to identify collaboration opportunities, to leverage each other's research findings, and to accelerate the most promising research to mitigate the broad societal impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID Information Commons is funded by an NSF COVID Rapid Award number 2028999, as you can see toward the bottom of the homepage of the COVID Information Commons. The Commons and the proposal are developed as a collaborative proposal led by the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub, hosted by Columbia University, in collaboration with the Midwest Big Data Innovation Hub, the South Big Data Innovation Hub, and the West Big Data Innovation Hub. The award commenced in May 2020 and ends in October 2020. It is expected that the COVID Information Commons will continue to be available after the award period. We're deploying the COVID Information Commons with a phased approach. Phase one is scheduled to launch on July 10th, 2020. It includes two forms of NSF award searches into the public NSF awards database. One is an NSF directorate level breakdown of NSF funded COVID rapid awards connected to customized views of the simple search website, which can be found by clicking the icons where it says click these icons to find NSF COVID rapid grants by NSF directorate. You can see the eight directorates are represented. Biological sciences, computer and information science and engineering, education and human resources, engineering, geosciences, mathematical and physical sciences, social, behavioral, and economic sciences, and office of the director. You can learn more by watching the COVID Information Commons demonstration video, which is also on the website. The second and innovative advanced award search is provided through the blue button on the website, entitled Click for COVID Research Explorer ML Maps. The COVID Research Explorer is a machine learning powered tool which clusters awards by multiple parameters and keywords. The COVID Research Explorer tool clusters awards in topographical maps by topical areas and in polygonal tree maps with keyword labels. Here you can see the topographical maps with thematic labels. And here you can see the tree map with keyword labels. Each award represented has a drill down capability to identify the award number, institution, principal investigator, their name and email, the state, the award amount, the abstract from the NSF award, as well as other publicly available NSF award information. The fields available in the drill down are available on the right. On the left, we have a query capability that you can use to customize your search. Contextual and keyword searches provide researchers and students the opportunity to identify research relevant to their work and potential collaborators to further COVID related research for the good of society. You can learn more in the COVID Information Commons demo video also available on the website. Phase two of the COVID Information Commons is scheduled to be available by October 2020. Phase two is projected to add multiple potential attributes. These could include additional award information provided by the principal investigators of the COVID Rapid Awards, such as their websites, their project information, links to materials and papers, and their current collaborations. We could also identify new collaboration opportunities with the help of the researchers and make additional connections to NSF awards and other scientific collaborators. All the best in your COVID research and your endeavors in this era and thank you for visiting and using the COVID Information Commons.